Five six has changed my life. It's been uh, marvelous. You know, I don't know what people did before, but you know, they came out with this new one. This is the eighty two U. Now this is pretty. I like it. Honestly, it looks good in the studio. Like if I turn off all the lights, this looks sexy. Like it looks sexy. Like like check this out. Oh. And you can see, like, if I turn off the lights and I place this somewhere, it literally just glows. I can put it right there and it'll look good. See? Looks good. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos Rentis, and today we're talking about the Asus AX82U. What a great little machine. It's just, it does what it's supposed to do. And I love that about companies when they do that. Now, that being said, can it do more? Should it be doing more based on its price point? Well, yes and no. And on top of that, you know, does it really matter? And this flashiness and does it make you, you know, think more of it is the question. So that's why we're gonna be looking more of stats in this video. However, to start this video, the question is why are you here? And most likely you're thinking about buying one of these routers, the 82, the 86, or the 88U. You're thinking about Wi-Fi 6, and you're thinking about moving on the future of technology. Now, if you do not have a lot of uh, devices that are Wi-Fi 6, you don't really need this. Unless you wanna future-proof yourself, you don't really need this. And at that, are you really future proofing yourself if you know Wi-Fi 6E is coming out? So it's a toss up on what you really need or want based on what you have at home. If you have a lot of uh, people in your household or in the office with a lot of uh, Wi-Fi 6 capabilities, then yeah, you need to upgrade to something like this. If not, then you're better off just going to a older version of the 86U, get the AC86U instead of the AX86U until it's time to upgrade to the new Wi-Fi technology. That being said, this does the job it needs to do with regards to maintaining that Wi-Fi 6 speed based on its specs. It is great. We're going to be looking at the specs further. Before I move into that, I want to just put this idea out there and and really put a perspective on the different routers. The 82U does the job as it states and on the box, you know, compared to the 86 and the 88U, you see the numbers where the 86U is uh, 6,000 megabits per second. And then you see the 86U at 57, this is 5,400 uh, megabits per second. And you sit there and you look at that number, that is a marketing gimmick. This flashiness is a marketing gimmick, okay? The, the idea behind the gaming router is a marketing gimmick. And I want you to really put that in perspective so you can really focus on those stats, on what's inside with any router, not just these ones. Because these, they're, they're, these are doing the job they need to do. However, they're not going to be doing 100% what the thought process, the marketing you're getting in your head with. So we need to analyze all that. Now, when you go Google, you probably find uh, dongnose.com. That guy is great at going through and doing tests and talking about the routers and other hardware. Uh, and we're going to go look at those right now so we can compare it to our stats and figure out how um, close he is with what we're finding. Now, the first example here is with a Wi-Fi 6 client. And the idea here would be long range versus close range. And we're looking at the 82U and how it's like in the, the middle of the pack. You, you are seeing the 86U up here doing its thing at gigabit speeds for sure, but then you're not really hitting the gigabit speeds here with the uh, 82U. Now, is that a, a, a fact or is it kind of like testing? And is it like, you know, what is the idea that we want to um, address here? And the fact is that this would probably be on averages and it would probably be on the equipment that's being used. And the idea here is that you're close to that 900 mark, which would be a nice area for that gigabit speed to happen. At the same time, the 88U is running in just uh, underneath it. And of course, uh, it is closer on the gigabit speed, but we're looking at more of the difference in this case. The, the difference here is significant. Why? Because on the longer range, you're still maintaining meaning a uh, you know, very small variable of difference. The 88U 
is a little bit bigger here because that's, that's, that's kind of significant when you're looking at an almost 100 megabit per second change. When we're looking at 86U, it is hitting over gigabit speeds. Um, you know, that's 1.2, you know, 1.25 versus the uh, 1.1 here. And this is significant. However, you are getting into that gigabit speed using this router. And on the averages, if you're going to be up this high, it's more often than not versus the 82U. When he compares it to Wi-Fi 5 clients, now we're seeing the significant difference in how things are operating and how these routers are configured. The 88U is up higher here and it's maintained a rather um, close to 900 megabit per second um, result. The uh, Asus 82U is dropping here and you can see that on the distance it does uh, drop quite significantly it's not maintained as uh, close as it should be the 86u has totally dropped out of gigabit speed here and this is normal it's, you, you're going to a wi-fi client so this is normal um and, and, and something to expect now when we're looking at it in terms of the 2.4 gigahertz and this is where you look at the 82U, really do its uh, thing to maintain with the pack at the top. Uh, the 86U, of course, is doing much better. Uh, this is significant when you're looking at uh, the speed in change uh, between the two. It's almost 60 megabits per second faster. And, you know, you, you look at the 88U, though, and, and just so you highlight this, look at the difference between, okay, all of these in here, it's all significant numbers, especially when we're looking at it in terms of the long distance range. Lastly, something I found very interesting is this one gigabit speed connection. And we're looking at it in terms of how fast something can connect. Uh, this is a wired connection. Now, I'm not sure what he's connecting to, and we need to really be observant of that. The idea here is that he would be connecting to the best of the best kind of thing for the NAS performance. However, when I'm looking at the numbers, I'm kind of like hesitant to, to think, hey, maybe he's not using the best of the best. Um, and quite frankly, because this 86U here going in at 148 megabytes per second, that is rather slow, in my opinion, especially in a 2.5 gigabit connection. The idea of it being this slow when we're connecting to an 86U, that 112 uh, megabytes per second, I just, I'm kind of shocked that I'm seeing such a, like, uh, I'm shocked that I'm seeing something where when the numbers, when you go to one gigabit per connection, this should indeed uh, be a lot significantly faster, and it's not. It'd be something like seeing this big jump here with uh, the 10 gigabit per second. It's like, it's, that's a big jump, and we're not seeing this when we're going from 1 to 2.5. At the same time, you know, I'm looking at this, and we're looking at this 82U, and I'm saying, okay, is this a speed you want to be looking at if you're going to be using this for anything to do with a NAS system? In comparison to my um, my test, where I'm not really looking at it from a LAN connection, I didn't even think to check it, and I was just kind of like looking at it from a uh, connection of 120 169 megabytes per second on Wi-Fi 6 from my XPS to my NAS system. This is what we're doing here. I just don't see the point of me going and connecting my LAN line because I would expect I'm going to be getting full top speed with my landlines now this is a 2.4 gigabit connection to my nas my nas is uh top speeds that you can do read write is 225 uh, megabytes per second or so so i mean this is significant and we can see that that's a significant number there's another average that i got um uh, when i was checking this out uh, on the right it hit 195 megabytes per second so we are seeing these big speeds um I just from the Wi-Fi, like phenomenal. So this are these are some stuff that you have to look at when you're looking at reviews and asking yourself, okay, what is what is the tool set that's being used? Now, again, when you're connecting anything, you're going to see this 1.4 gigabit per second to 1.8 is my average here. I did see it go up to 2 and 2.4 when I was next to the router. I mean, how often are you going to be doing that? We have to take that into consideration. But on average, it was 1.4 to 1.8. And then we look at the actual speed download, um, 500 megabytes Per megabits per second is my package. I did get cat eight wires from the modem to the router and I saw an increase of 100 to 200 megabits per second. So that's something good to know and understand when you are working on anything to with a router, modem and NAS system with cables. So do get the cat seven, cat eight cable. 
So the stats there are very close and we I found similarities and the idea goes, well, what do you really need it? And my idea is the data transfer rate. It wasn't keeping steady, it wasn't consistent and it was going up and down a little bit too much for my liking. However, it did a good job. And why did this occur? Well, let's look at the hardware, you know, and we look at the hardware between the three units and why 86U was doing a better job than the 82U. We're looking at this website, it's clear that their marketing is on point. They are doing everything they can do to make sure that they acquire that customer that is gonna be specifically uh, entertained by a unit like this, no matter where, if it performs what it's supposed to be doing or not. Now. The what I'm getting with this, if it's a gamer and maybe they could get something more expensive by like 20, 30 bucks, like the 86U, they're not going to bother because this is delivering. Asus is telling them this is all you need. And a lot of people won't check. And this is why, you know, you, all these reviewers will do review videos. Now, this can perform and it can do everything. And Asus isn't wrong about that. They're, they've delivered on a product that's going to help direct specifically for gamers and any person that's in a family that is trying to do any kind of backups and work with their laptop and have a lot of people in the family doing a lot of different things. And you have all these different things that are occurring and they call them the, you know, bottlenecks uh, solver here. Now, what do I want to really focus on? And we're going to focus on this with all the videos. I'm going to go through the same thing. It's a processor. This is a 1.5 gigahertz tri-core processor. And this is where I'm finding the speed issue between that and this memory we are only getting uh, i know half the memory of the other ones uh this is only 512 versus the one uh gigabyte so between how much this can push and how much memory is in here to be used depending on what is happening these two things are critical and of course your antenna setup is critical the thought process on all these connections they're all critical you need to be able to look at this and ask yourself how does this break down and how does it fit the narrative? When you are talking about how fast this thing can go, can it really go up to this speed? And the reality is that it's not gonna go up to that speed, but it can max out at that speed if you have a lot of different connections and you're able to use all these different connections. So you as an individual person will probably never hit this, but you will be using a lot of this when you are say, you know, three, four, five people or more, your increase will go up here. So you want to get the modem that's going to be allowing you with all your different devices between the ones that are going to be using, you know, the N and the AC and then the AX, you want to be able to know that you're covered. And this does a good job on that. So for what we can see, price value, that money, the $20 difference, what I think is happening is they're saying, hey, we can sell more of these because of the flashiness. And the reality is that we didn't really need to even bring this to the market, but we did. And now you have the 82U, the 86U, and the 8U, and this is more of the opportunity to sell more routers. That's what I'm seeing with this unit. And when I look at it, you know, at the end of the day, if my recommendation would be the recommendation you're gonna take, uh, what are you actually trying to achieve? Put that down. What is the end result that you're trying to get to and look at all of these routers and ask yourself okay if they're on sale what do i do if this unit is drastically on sale which i have seen it i mean like it was you know about 70 dollars cheaper than the 80 uh the 86 u and that's why i bought this first and then the other one went on sale and I was like, mm, hands down, I'm gonna try that one out too and keep the one that I want to buy. They're still within $20. And the idea becomes these always go up on sale, so maybe you wanna wait, but if you can't wait, then you're gonna buy the one that's on sale. That's what I'd be recommending for this lineup. If I was looking at other routers, I'd be looking at the specs that are similar, and I'd be saying to myself, which one are is similar to these ones, and if I do see it on sale, which one am I gonna buy? That is the process of my thoughts on how I would move forward on purchasing one of these units. Again, this will take care of you, it will. You're, you're gonna see a significant improvement for your in-house network and all the devices that are on it, significant, okay? And especially if you have AX devices. If you have AX devices, you will see that difference.
a hundred percent. Now, if you don't have AX different uh, devices, you're not going to see that much of a difference, you know, and people will come online and they'll be like, oh my God, you know, this is amazing or the opposite. And this sucks. I didn't see a difference. And that's because they're looking at that download speed. And, you know, if you're getting a gigabit in, you're not going to get more than a gigabit in, you know, the router there will help you align all the devices. So they're all getting an equal amount or what they need amount for what they are doing. And we have to, Put that into perspective when we're purchasing one of these units. Now, reviews have been done for all of these. I would be comparing them all before I go purchase anything. Down below, leave a comment, question, concern, discrepancy about what we're talking about. And here you're going to see the next video where we jump into the idea of that little network card. <laughs> about a new toy. It's a router. An alien router by Asus. It's the AX82U. Before you buy it, watch this video.